O3B Networks, and we are flying on board the fifth Soyuz to launch from its new home here at the Guyana Space Centre. 40 seconds to launch, we're switching to onboard power. Watch out for the big metallic Stop. mast, there Stop. it goes. And don't forget to count to 16 once you see the first burn of the engines. Top, à zéro, moins 20 secondes. Top, largage ma VKM. Top, allumage triétage. A tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité, boost, décollage. And, and we are off, hauling ourselves against the gravity of the Earth, all 310 tonnes. We're heading out east over the Atlantic Ocean and we are burning five engines. Everything's going according to plan, he says. We have one on the core stage and we have one on each booster. But it's the boosters which are doing all the work right now. Their job is to get us away from the Earth. Gravity makes us stick to our planet and stops us flying off into space. But it also makes it very hard for us to leave and we need lots of firepower to do that. That's why we call them boosters, because they give us a short but massive boost at the beginning of the flight to quite literally push us away. They are providing 80% of our thrust right now. That's 790 kilonewtons each. Les paramètres à bord sont normaux. Look at the left-hand side of the screen. You'll see what we call the trajectory. All eyes on that. La propulsion du premier et du deuxième étage est dominale. Everything's going well. The all eyes on that uh, after launch, before it was the status panels, the uh, curve is the computer simulation of the scheduled altitude. The white dot on the curve is the actual position of the launch vehicle. A is the altitude and V is the velocity. 